That, in fact, is the misanthrope scheme. Build gadgets from blueprints, halt the holiday theme. But will this debacle make the Grinch stop and quit? Of course not. He growls and pledges. The Grinch likes to break things with his robust behind. He'll flatten and smush to get out of a bind. This power is one that he completely controls. He'll pancake anything to attain all his goals. Max the brown dog is the mean one's right-hand mate. He obeys Grinchy orders, does not question his fate. This pup boldly ventures where the green one cannot. He approaches who strangers, explores a small spot. An anti-who tool for which no blueprints exist is the smelly Grinch breath which cannot be missed. It appears in the shape of a rancid green cloud <coughs> and can be used any time it's always allowed. This fog reveals things the naked eye can't see. Also, its rank odor weakens the enemy. Press the action button to cause Grinchy effects. This guarantees he will be a pain in Who Next. At the heart of the Heartless One's cave is his pride, a master computer with Grinchy smarts inside. The Grinch has invented a vast vacuum system. Through its miles of tubes, he can get to the Who's who he feels have so dissed him. As we begin, just the path to Whoville is clear. But as the scheme falls in place, more roots will appear. Who grown-ups and children alike fear the Grinch, but they hope that through hugs he may change just an inch. The mean one must test different ways to evade all the Who hugs and friendly advances they've made. The mission book outlines the Grinch's to-do list. Using this, the mean one knows there's nothing that he's missed. One important task is breaking holiday gifts. Just thinking of this deed, the Grinch spirit lifts. The Grinch just discovered a small rotten egg. Take it, oh mean one, whether you steal or beg. This vile, fragile item's your most useful tool. You plop it in Grinch gadgets to give them more fuel. Some scoundrels are awkward, clumsy, dumb, and so slow. But the Grinch is more sprightly than your average foe. He can hang on to ledges and swing round a pole, move right and move left to reach his roguish goal. To complete all his missions, the Grinch must collect numerous items, each with a special effect. His book contains a record of what he must find to use in the setting for which it was designed. The Rotten Egg launcher's a brilliant invention as the smell that it brings causes more than just tension. Once an eggshell breaks open and vile fumes escape, who eyes glaze over and who mouths can only gape? When the Grinch needs to hassle the Who's from afar, he turns to his launcher with a hearty har-har. Few things irk him more than Who's equipped to resist the days and confusion brought on by rotten mist. The Grinch can propel himself high into Who Air by using the rocket spring to bounce him up there. In order to get the jump action he desires, the Grinch must give the coil all the rank eggs it requires. While most Grinch growls come from the mean one's big mouth, he now hears a sound from a location more south. My stomach! He thinks and begins to dream of food. He knows just the locale to fit his hungry mood. Once the Grinch has entered into his supercomputer, the specs for his dearly loved trusty slime shooter, he's able to neutralize all his who foes because they are stuck to themselves in their slimed clothes. The dumps is preferred Epicurean spot. It's here that the Grinch dines more often than not. As the mean one chews loudly and smacks his green lips, he ponders a thought, picks up his goblet and sips. The octopus climbing device takes the metal. It lets the Grinch climb walls with the tap of a pedal. He first must be sure the surface is plain and flat. Not common in Whoville, where all's elaborate. 
The splendor of nature surrounds peaceful Who Lake. Camp going Who children don't yet know their mistake. The Grinch stands by, ready to launch his pranks and tricks. He chuckles and laughs, ready to get his Grinch kicks. Tired of having completed his last mission, the mean one opts for a relaxing position. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. To open these super doors, he must do something first. Break all kinds of presents, make the packages burst. Once he's passed through this threshold, he'll be in a space filled with crazy games. It's a delirious place. Up the side of Mount Crumpet, he soared through the air. His plan was to hide his Who Christmas stash there. He heard a powerful sound coming over the snow. It started out quiet, but it went on to grow. Instead of sad cries, why, this sounded merry. In spite of his victory, the mean one felt wary. The Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. What if this holiday didn't come from a store? Maybe Christmas perhaps means uh, a little bit more. 